Okay, I'm sorry. Can you hear me now? Yes, I can hear you. Okay, hi. Is this is Jim, right? Yes, Jim. Hey, Jim. Uh, this is my name's Tom. Um, I yeah, I saw your Craigslist ad uh, about that uh, Shasta you had. It's uh, long gone. I already sold it, man. Oh, you did. Oh. Yeah, I first person come. Uh, I, I showed two or three people. I couldn't believe it. You know, they didn't want it. I, I finally sold six hundred bucks at the end. Six hundred. You know, it was really nice. Yeah, I sold six hundred. Man, I went all the way down from twelve hundred to a thousand to eight hundred to six hundred. Just somebody finally bought it. Nobody uh, wanted it, man. Uh, we- more patient with that. Oh, it's too bad. Well, I couldn't hold on, man, because everybody kept telling me, you know, they didn't want it because of the fucking title, dude. You know, everybody, nobody wanted They told me the thing wasn't worth for 300 bucks to handle the title. And that thing was a time capsule inside. Nothing yeah. had been touched on. It had the original curtains. Everything was original, not touched. You know, I couldn't believe it. And I was fighting with these people about the camper, and finally I just gave up, and I sold it somebody for 600 Oh, man. Man, oh, man, oh, man. Oh, man. Well, that's I wish I'd have waited, and I needed the money around Christmas, and I was trying to sell it, and then, you know, no, they had no damn day, and then everybody just complained about the title, and they acted like it was such a big old deal, and then they acted like it was stolen. I said, well, people that steal campers don't put them on Craigslist and put your fucking phone number on there, you know? <laughs> well, you know, it's funny. I, I, I'll tell you what's going on here. Um, uh, I'm a segment producer out here out of Austin uh, for reality shows such as uh, Pawn Stars and, uh, and uh, American Pickers. And mm-hmm. uh, they, they're they always on the lookout for interesting and good finds. And when they were scouring through, uh, they told me to give you mm-hmm. a call because they might, might want to have been interested in stopping in and doing a little bit of filming uh, to pick that item up. Uh, no, yeah. cha- no chance that uh, you can get that back and maybe we can do a little bit of, little bit of coverage from you, huh? No, I don't know. You might be able to talk to the real estate. There are a couple of real estate people there in Austin that bought it from me. Okay. They might want to do that. They All might right. want to do something about that. Yeah, okay. Um, do you have anything else for sale, possibly, that uh, that we could work with? Oh, it's out on the farm, man. I'm just kind of messing with it right now. i got a couple of other traders, but not really nothing that I would see like that. I don't know. Like I said, that trader, it was a nice old trader. And it's just, I didn't want to cut it up. I was threatening to cut it up and everything. I thought somebody you, might want it. You, you know? what? You were going to no, cut it up? No, I couldn't. No, I said I put an ad on there like I was gonna cut it up with the sawball just to piss camper people off that were what? messing with me. What? were you doing that for? No, what it was, I went to the camper site on there. You know, where you go and look them up. That thing is really hard to find the stuff on. There's no information on those Shasta traders back then. They got no VIN information or nothing. It's really hard to find. And it was a rare model of camper. And, and then you were, you were see, ha- this is what we're talking about. You're the kind of person that we want on TV. You were gonna, th- you were threatening to cut the thing with a sawzall. No, what it is is I don't store cars for a living, old cars like 64 to 72, and I'm a purist type guy. In other words, I want to put them back exactly original like they were. Right, right. With a new motor. Okay, well, I went around. I'm going to restore this camper. And I went through thousands of ads on eBay until I happened to see the missing table that matched my camper. And that for Micah is really hard to find. It's gold with gold spec green with gold flake in it. They don't make it. You can't get it. But I found a guy with a table at this little camper site. So I emailed him and said, hey, man, I got this camper. I'm going to restore it. Will you sell me the table? He says, yeah. Well, then I call him back, and about two hours later, he says, oh, I see you're one of them guys that's going to fix the trailer up and flip it. I don't want to sell you the table because I was, I'm, like, we saw the people that keep the campers, you know, and I guess name the fuckers. I don't know, you know. Yeah. <laughs> what would you so name then, yours? No, I mean, it was supposed to be cut up for the, for my cedar post hauler at my farm is what it was going to be cut up for. What? Why would you? Okay, <laughs> back to that point. Why would you cut it up again? You want I to keep it? You want to restore to cut it? it up. You want I did, no, I just threatened them to cut it up to make him make them feel sad that I was cutting it up and throwing away the little valuable parts for the little fifty year old trailer. I didn't cut it up. I sold it to somebody. Okay. I just I just made them think I was going to cut it up. Be- I went because... as far as to tell them. I told him I went as far as telling him if they ever seen the Chainsaw Massacre, I was going to be with the chainsaw with a leather fucking mask on. Oh, that's that's <laughs> that's good. That's, that's good karma there, Sugar Tits. I hear you there. Um, you know, so so what you know, I was thinking? I just, couldn't be- I just couldn't believe it. You know, it, it was ultra rare, man. They didn't make Remy those, and it was like a pure time capsule inside. You know, the people that have seen it, they they loved it. But these other people were dogging me, saying it wasn't worth any money because it had no title. Well, you know, I don't know what the deal was. You know that that's so funny. And you said you – okay, what I'm going to do, I'm going to save your number because we are looking for adversity. Uh, we're, trying to, <laughs> we're trying to build up this whole reality show market, you know, the, the red – Oh, it would have been there, great like, for that, man. Like it would have been great for that. <laughs> you know, people are eating up rednecks, and what they're trying to come up with is people that can be uh, the leaders of, sh- of a show they're starting out called uh, Cedar Chopper of Texas. Oh, man. <laughs> and, 
And, hey, uh, why don't you catch those guys in Cedar Park right down there, man? That's what the town was named for. Well, South of Austin, right Cedar now, Park. R- right now, it just sounds like, I mean, you know how reality shows aren't really exactly reality. It's kind of produced. Yeah. And we're trying to find that one good character that can run the show. And, and uh, you sound like our Cedar Chopper, to be honest with you. <laughs> um, so, oh, so what I'd like man. you to do is I'm going to save your number. Your name's Jim. Uh, yeah, um, I'm going to put this down here. I'm just going to do a quick uh, – uh, uh, yeah. Recording here. If I could have you say, "I'm America Cedar Chopper," <laughs> just just real quick. If you can say that with some enthusiasm, I'd appreciate it. No, man, I don't know. Oh no, it's okay. It's all good. It, it's just it's just a kind of like a um kind of like an introduction. Uh, so when I show the American Picker guys and their producers, uh, they they just get an idea of who you are and uh, and you know it's just a little little bit. Uh, so if I can have you say that just real enthusiastically, I'm America Cedar's Chopper. I'm America's feeder chopper. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about, man. Well, you're definitely going to be hearing back from me. Uh, you say you restore cars. Uh, um, what, what kind of no, cars are you restoring? I, re- I restore 64 to 72 cars. Excellent. GTOs, 442s, Camaros, Novas, anything like that. Excellent. I mean, you watch shows like that. Like, uh, Have you seen America Restoration? You seen you seen the American Pickers? You watch those shows? Yeah, uh, the pickers. I, I, the Rick's, Rick's restoration charges yep. about five hundred times more than what you would pay for anything. Yep, absolutely, and it's that's like what a highway about. robbery. That guy there, he's like six you know why? Strong. You know why? He's on TV, and that's what we're I talking know it, about. Man. So, so I we're know hoping it. we're hoping you're interested. And what I'm going to do is just leave your number here real quick. You'll probably be hearing from my boss, the executive producer, um, and uh, we might get an interview going. All right, man. I appreciate that. I appreciate your time, Jim. One more time, say it. No, man, you already got it covered. Oh, on come there. on, say it with some enthusiasm. I can't say it the same way again. Do it, we'll even do it better this time. Say it again. What do you mean better? What louder, more enthusiasm. <laughs> I'm America Cedar Chopper. I'm America Cedar Chopper. Yeah, Jim, that's what we're talking about. Enthusiasm. Appreciate your time. You're gonna be hearing back from me. All right, man. Take I care, man. It.